Hello and welcome. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is the immediate post previous video check. I am doing a little bit of investigation now on the map. I'm not actually starting to play yet, but I wanted to take a look around and see how things look, see if it looks like it's been fixed. And things look pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. It looks like, uh, holy smokes, first off, i got to say this is awesome. All the way to Timbuktu, I think, is part of the uh, somewhat more historic stuff. Look at all these extra counties down here. A um, bunch of counties here, the desert. These are all cities for the most part. Looks like there's a couple castles. But still, they're all connected. I think it's even more elaborate than what we saw in the Prince and the Thane. You know, there's some water down there, Lake Chad. Um, the main thing that we wanted to check was the Holy Roman Empire, or the Heidishkirchuch, or whatever the hell he's calling himself. Um, uh, I, I, is that supposed to be how it's going to look? I don't know. I mean... We've got France, and then we've got... That looks German to me. Like, way more... Is that, like, a localization problem? Or is that just what it's supposed to be called? And then we've got uh, England, Alba. All that looks right. These coats of arms are huge compared to the other mods that we've looked at. I don't know. I, I um, That one thing freaks me out a little bit, but... Um, and even this one here. No, actually, I've, I think I've seen that before. I think that is how it's supposed to be. It's just very weird to me. And, like, what the hell is this? Magyarorsak. All right. Okay, that's cool. But anyway, the main problem seems to be resolved. I think I got it right this time. Um, we used somewhat more historic as the primary overriding, overwriting um, mod. We don't have any Muslims here in... Uh, Quite a few counties, though. At least a couple counties that only have one holding. That's kind of strange. But yeah, nothing in Poland, nothing in the Holy Roman Empire. It looks pretty clean, so I think we're looking good. I think this is going to be a playable version of the map. Look at these little tiny things. I guess that's very historic. Take a look at the terrain. That's all desert. Kind of makes sense. What kind of attrition are we looking at? Pretty darn low, low, low supply availability. So there's a little river or Lake Volga. It's kind of cool. Okay, well, I'm not actually playing again, so um, I think we're looking good. I just wanted to, to record this and put it up there so you can, I don't know, see that it looks like it's working. Some water here, too. I think that's so impressive when, when people find ways to mod that stuff in. That is not in the regular game. The only thing that I don't like about it, though, um, I know I just made like a blanket comment, blanket compliment statement about it, is that um, I noticed from one of the live streams that the um, the game developers were doing, I, I got to see them running the developer version, the developer build, and it's awesome. They've got this tool called the Nudge tool, and I don't know exactly how it works, but what I imagine it does based on what I saw is that they're able to enable this console very similar to the console here and it's called nudge tool and what they can do is like turn it on and then like grab this little flag and like nudge it or grab the the whatever the thing is that helps program where the text overlay is and nudge that and then that, that automatically updates the file so they don't have to go in and manually update things one of the reasons why somewhat more historic for example if you take, um, and, and I saw this a lot as well in the Prince and the Thane up here, is that uh, like your army icon, the troop icon, would be in the complete wrong spot. Like, let's see if that works with this. See, like this army, see how it's off to the right? It would make a lot more sense to be centralized here, and also for this flag, maybe to be over here. It takes a lot of work for a manual mod editor to position all of these titles and, and icons in the right spot, because you got to do it manually. But with the nudge tool, I imagine it'd be a lot easier. Um, just kind of a side complaint. Kind of cool, though. All right, so I think we are looking pretty good. I will upload this uh, as a uh, new document. I'm going to update the, the current link so that anyone who got the link from version... Um, episodes two two episodes ago um, can use that same link and they'll get the new updated version. If you got the old version, it, it's crap. Just delete it and download this new one. There'll be a link in this description as well and also in the previous video. 
So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the first video. See you soon.